Welcome back to the Retro Sports Gamer channel. I'm here to play some NCAA Football 2003. Played a game earlier today in the AM, starting a season with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And uh, here we got a game versus Purdue for the Shalala Trophy in South Bend, Indiana. The game I played earlier, I lost to Maryland. They were ranked. Uh, had a couple miscues, had my chances in that one, but ultimately lost, I believe, 12 to 7 or 13 to 7. So now I have to rebound here and uh, trying to get a win. Shalali. Yes, I knew I was going to say that wrong. Thank you for correcting me, Alex. I never really looked into those type of trophies before uh, it just says it right here and this is a satellite TV game big Indiana battle coming up I'm hoping my scrambling quarterbacks back in this game because the other guy came in uh, did the best he could got a touchdown out of him but his accuracy was rough Boilermakers versus the Irish is right. So, yeah, this, I just had fun playing this game earlier, so I felt compelled to play another game, and and here I am. Hail to the victors. Turn that stuff off. Oh, uh, yeah, wash them, Deontay Jenkins. Your green and white heart can't take the music. I was thinking, too. Oh, this is pretty loud. I was thinking, too, like, it's it's easy to get through college football seasons because, what, they're like 11, 12 games. That's it. I could see myself going through some more seasons of NCAA football games because I really enjoy playing these, too. Colton says he's playing this one right now. Great minds think alike. How's it going, David? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one, Brad. Purdue needs to look no further than their quarterback to figure out what holds this game. Go deep on the first play of the game. All right. I could do that for you. He's a smart young man. Let me tell you why I agree with you. Purdue has an advantage. Purdue has an advantage? I look for them to get good protection. Throw the football all over the place. How's the past couple weeks? Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. So let's get down past couple weeks have been okay. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to find my groove and this work it from home stuff. Basically, where I'm sitting now is where I work now, and that, that was not the intention of this computer and, and my basement area here. So uh, I haven't streamed as much over the past few months, but I think I'm finally getting used to it a little bit gangster paradise you're not going to hear that in the ncaa games that's what i i really do enjoy that they just have fight music because some of the songs that they put in these uh ea games i just can't stand them so the fight songs are less annoying and they don't hit the copyrights on youtube What's up, Smoke? Taking a play out of the infamous Smoke playbook. He has his own uh, YouTube channel. He doesn't stream that frequently, but he plays NCAA football games. Kentucky is the team he plays with. All right, so let me try to concentrate here. And nothing doing. Play screens are simple, easy to navigate. 
Boilermakers. Come out in the shotgun. He drops back. Fires a bullet out to the right. And out of bounds. And they're going to rule him out of bounds. No problem, Infamous Smoke. Yeah, check him out. Maybe he'll start streaming again soon. Third and 11. We get a man zone going here. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the nine yard line. You can see my defense. The Boilermaker with four receivers. I'll try to show you the play I'm using. If you... He's looking. He's rolling right. He pump fake. He goes down. Bad throw. That's a good start for the. <laughs> Fighting Irish. It could be Kyle Orton. That's a good point. I didn't really. I haven't looked it up, but I don't know. Let me know. It would be. Uh, yeah, if he was drafted in 03, then it would be Kyle Orton. What's up, Easy Breezy? Notre Dame. Oh, cool. You're going to stream while you're off on vacation? Oh, it was looking, it was looking good. Pat says it would be Orton. Glad to see Archie and the RSG channel like seeing music on MTV. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, MTV. It was pretty cool when they had music videos, but the music videos are so over the top now. Uh, with the agendas and crazy stuff they push, you wouldn't want them on uh, <laughs> on MTV, anyways. Number seven gives it up the middle. Number thirty-four brings him down at the one-yard line. The Basically, the music videos now. It's like, oh, what kind of uh, occultic symbolism is in this one? It's terrible. We got it. Touchdown, fighting, fighting Irish. First touchdown of, oh no, second of the season. Just pound the rock. It says it's in the last stream, but yeah, NBC. Uh, obviously, Notre Dame's on NBC. And they're going to be playing with some fans in the stadium in 2020, but it's only students and uh, parents of the athletes. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> me and Shallow Bay uh, think a lot of the same thing, so it could be either of us. <laughs> Just brought this game. Yeah, it's, it's a cheap game. I mean, you can get high-quality games for unbelievably cheap prices. This this TV I'm using, Troy hooked me up with. It's got a crystal clear, bright, bright picture CRT. It's only 14 inches, but it's doing the job. The other one I used was 19 inches, but it started humming. So I put it in the garage. It still works. It's just super annoying. <laughs> no, LeBron did not play for the Fighting Irish. I was. Not so much in college, but when he's on the Steelers, just watching a big tank just bowl over people. Him and Mike Allstott, they were uh, fun to watch. They ran with passion. You don't see too many like that anymore. I mean, Adrian Peterson comes to mind. Coach, you made a nice defensive play there. He sure did. But, uh... Stuck his hand out and hit the football. Yeah, there's... I don't know. Who, who comes to mind for you? The running backs that just bulldoze and run for passion. I guess, uh... Marshawn Lynch comes to mind. Oh, that should have been a pick six. 
situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Yeah, he does have that Irish jersey. Oh yeah, Matt, he's usually doing those from his house. He, he wanted me to get in on some. If he comes by me, I'm more than happy to do some of those with him. Oh, man. Let that bounce. We're at the 50. Uh, sorry, Deontay. I forgot that uh, I told you I was going to throw a bomb on the first play. You know, I need to get my fast receiver in the game. Number 21. That's a problem. I noticed that he wasn't in any of the formations. Even with the four wide receivers. Oh, that's because in the depth chart they have him at five. Receivers aren't too good at all. I think he's going to have to go as the number two. And then number 88. Get him in. Yeah, what is going on with the depth chart? Now it's better. Play NCAA football 2002. I don't have that one. Julius Jones. Mm, could be. Okay, so now we fix that. We have to call a timeout because we're running low on the play clock. Rick Meyer. <laughs> this game is brought to you by My Little Pony. There's a whole My Little Pony episode on um, how they make toys or whatever on Netflix. I forgot what it's called already now, but. Excellent field position to start the drive. College hockey or lacrosse? Go for it. How's it going, Adam? 21's Golden Tate. Deontay busting out the Notre Dame knowledge tonight. That's why he's got that 92 speed. Four man front by the defense. There's that bomb you're looking for. Ball's incomplete. The receiver couldn't catch up to that ball. No, he couldn't. And I'll tell you what, the quarterback was conscious of the blitz that time by the defense. Threw it through to the other side. The reason that he overthrew the football. We got third and three here. Ball on the 43-yard line. That was quite the prediction. Yeah, Rick Meyer didn't live up to that. Oh no, that. Gets a carry right side. Didn't have the ball on there. Having ball control is important in football. I'm going for it. Out is what you want to avoid for sure. We're in 45-yard line. Fourth down and five. Ball on the 45. 21's not Golden Tate. Purdue. Going to the three man front. So Deontay's just talking. Number seven drops back. Looking. He wasn't open. Swatted away. They went for it there and failed. Not a smart play called in by the coaches. That was a good play call. I just think it wasn't open. I shouldn't have thrown it. Purdue comes out in the shotgun. Number 18 drops the throw. Here comes the pressure. He unloads it. Complete number 34 with a takedown at the 38 yard line. And a nice What's my favorite wrestling game? Time. My favorite wrestling game is between WWF No Mercy on the N64 and uh, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain on PS2. Played those the most, for sure. 
I actually had a request by my friend Elks. He just randomly texted me a week or two ago. He's like, let's get people at your house to play SmackDown. Here comes a pain. Because we used to run elimination chambers, and I had the four-player adapter. And we just run elimination chamber after elimination chamber. It was fun. Bring a little bit of a blitz here. Yeah, Ryan Leaf, he was uh, bust in the NFL. Mitch Trubisky, Spartan QB for the Bears. I can't say I'm going to be watching too much of the NFL at all. That's why, you know, I'm not usually someone who watches that much college football. And part of the reason is not because I don't like it, but to dedicate your whole weekend to football, I just was never a fan of. This is too much. But this year, you know, the way it's looking, college football might be more about the football and some people in the stands. I might uh, try to catch some of those games and leave the NFL where they may leave themselves with their politics. Oh, yeah, the weird physics. Yeah, that game, you know, it, it was kind of like the SmackDown games on the PlayStation, although they really slowed down the pace a bit. It was still fast. Oh, they're going for it? Looks like they're going to go for it here. Oh, they have the right team out there. I didn't think they would go for it on fourth and eight. Should have called a timeout, but whatever. Yeah, but uh, SmackDown here comes the pain, and obviously the graphics are way better than the PlayStation. It's it's a good game. I don't know. Ooh. Wide open. That uh, fourth down conversion for them was huge. Am I still a Peyton Manning guy? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I did like watching him play in his NFL career, but he just seems like he was a golden boy from the beginning. But Trubisky does not excite me to watch at all. I mean, the Bears are a frustrating franchise to watch. Why did he got that first? They get that one through the air. I think they were expecting to run there. Good job of mixing it up on third and short. They're really showing something on this drive. Are you talking about Jared Lorenzen? I don't know if he. Oh no. And it's caught for the touchdown. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that one. Yeah, you know they are. Any time a play works to perfection like that one did, you know. The big fundamental, Tim Duncan. Yeah, he was. He was good. He wasn't flashy. It was good to watch him play. He just tied it up. I got to get serious. Yeah, I didn't know about that. Rest in peace to him. Whenever I think about big quarterbacks, that's the first guy who comes to mind. Foles. Yeah, I mean, what did they, they get him for if they weren't going to start him? I don't know. Oh, if he would have got that block, it could have been a touchdown. Might be time to bust out the option a little bit. Oh, yes. They shifted to the other side. 
He's hit and got away. He's to the 40. Tackle at the 44. Pitch worked out. Look at that. They did a good job with the option in this game, too. Which I always liked. Because in Madden, they would not give you a lateral button. You couldn't even do it. He was Eli's backup before. Oh, he just shot the gap. And they hit him in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 41. Oh, Steve. No, I'm good. I'm good. You could do that, Deontay. Man, these short runs aren't doing it. Play a little power football there. Yeah, but they got outpowered. You give this quarterback something easy to hit. Fourth and two coming up on this one. Ball on their own 42. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Ooh, I don't know if I should go for this. Number seven, back to pass. Now he's scrambling. That worked out. And he's hammered down. To get the ball on that one and pick up the first down. I think this is a great decision by the quarterback here to take off and run. First and ten. Super Bowl ring. Respect for Jared Lorenzen is a Tennessee Vols fan. He drops back, steps up in the pocket. He scrambled. Yeah, the guy I was looking at was definitely not open. Getting some QB scrambles in. Oh, he's smelling rank. Second and one. Ball on the 44. The Giants need to honor him. One man backfield. Number seven gives it up the middle. Number 12 brings him down at the 40 yard line. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy like that who can grab five oh, yards or so consistently, it sure keeps some pressure off the passing game. It's first and ten. Seventh play of this drive coming up. Number 25 alone in the backfield. Number seven. No, I, I knew it as soon as I threw it. He's hit and got away. Number 65 Man. with a takedown at the 50-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback. Great commentary. Side. I was good thinking the same myself. As well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. First and ten. Ball right around midfield. Those type of throws just aren't worth it. Two-yard throw. Number 18 gives it up the middle. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. The tailback picks up six. There. Pro wrestler instead of a QB. It's second down and four to go. Ball mm. with Is Tyson really fighting? <laughs> I don't usually pay attention to that stuff. It seems more like theater than something to look forward to. Kind of like the... What was that, Mayweather? And I already forget his name, the Irish dude in UFC. And they're just cruising on the field. It's not good. Connor McGregor, yes. They use four linebackers. Number 18 drops back. He's looking for his man. Oh, that could have been a pick. That was just too easy. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. I mean, the, these things, it really just becomes about hype. That's all the Mayweather McGregor thing was. It's like obviously the the professional boxer who hasn't lost before is gonna beat the UFC fighter in boxing. I don't know. Tyson's old. He's made a name for himself. I don't know, I never really got into UFC. 
It's pretty brutal out of all the sports. Tyson's in good shape. I can see that. You know, Goldberg was in pretty good shape, but you saw what he could do when he tried to wrestle. And I can't believe they marched on the field that quick. And down he goes at the 41. And he comes up with a nice run. A nice run, but they kept him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. First and ten. Ball on the CBD ball. magic. The 2K, the 2K basketball? What's the new 2K basketball? Look, he unloads oh, it. was a bad throw. Oh, he caught it. Number 12 with a takedown. I'll take it. They did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Yeah, but don't forget to play that receiver that time. He made some really nice moves. What is the new two? Oh, you're just talking about 2K21? Oh, man, they were all over that. Uh, I mean, I, I think it's time. I think they've entered into a bad relationship, both the NFL and EA. EA doesn't have the passionate developers behind making the game anymore. And the NFL should have done some research to know that people don't want EA to be the exclusive holder of the NFL license. So they kind of mess, they screwed each other over and then... I haven't done any research into the game, but people are saying it's just copy and paste. Man, that wasn't even close. And they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where I played the last one. I thought it was all right. I didn't have too much bad to say about it and just playing a couple casual games. But it just feels like the pace is a little just too fast. Compared to like the games in this era. Oh, he's open. Get in there. Oh, that was the last one. Blast lacrosse. I don't see why not. I would feature lacrosse. There we go. That was huge. Because I was not probably going to get another playoff if I didn't get that in. Yeah, it's kind of jerky the the way the modern Madden feels. I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. The PS2 Maddens were the most fun to me. Like, they blew it out of the water on the graphics right away, and the gameplay was fun. And each year they they added features and made everything a little bit better. The, the player control, they added, you know, the hit sticks stuff. It didn't really go backwards until... Madden 06, I feel like, with the QB vision. But people love that game if you turn it off. But I always say this. I played online, and they forced it online, and I hated that game. <laughs> All right, so this is a good game. A lot of scoring so far. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. Yeah, the game's playing itself. Well, yeah, the other thing is, too, like, they tell you which action button to hit at a certain time. It's like, that's kind of, <laughs> the point is, like, you, you're supposed to have some instincts of when to hit it, not them tell you, like, hit circle now to do a spin. Oh, friend with 
with the modern or the PS2 Madden tournaments. That's got to be fun. We did a few uh, at D Men Tap at the bar. 14 14, receiving the kick. It was fun. I think compared to the other games we play, they last a little too long for some guys. I've definitely had some fun playing DPS in some of the Madden games on PS2. I even played, I even played Mort uh, in a few, or at least one of them, when there was the AFC and NFC Championship this year. Oh boy, it's not how you want to start the half. One thing about the option play is that it's risky. It takes time and practice to get it right. Second and ten, ball number twenty-two. The Boilermakers line up in a four-three. <laughs> they cut a crazy amount of stuff. Twenty-one's tearing it up. That speed. He's he's big too. College football but that's by far yeah that's that's what I'm looking for that's why I want to at least check out the Notre Dame NBC broadcast because it's obviously it's a national broadcast on an NBC you're gonna have a little bit of fans in the stadium a little bit of fans so I want to see how they do it because yeah, the NFL's already going to follow suit with the NBA and some of these other leagues. Yeah, NASCAR games, I just don't get into them as much. I only have one of them, and that was because it was requested for me to play it. I don't know, just driving a car around in circles is just <laughs> kind of boring for me. I don't know who t who number twenty one is. Deontay said it was Golden Tate, but we're saying no, it's not. Blitz was your jam. Yep, I got the Blitz cabinet right here. Obviously, that's a big. Uh, I'm a big fan of the NFL Blitz series. That one, and if the original Blitz, Blitz two thousand. Maybe I should get out of the ace normal. Third and one, ball on the 17. I have not seen Lewis Robert play for the White Sox. The only time I'll catch a glimpse is if I'm at one of these bars and it just happens to be on, but I'm really not paying attention. I think I'm going to go for this. Fourth and one, ball on the 17. Notre Dame. F1, never played it. Yes. I know the offense is getting kind of boring right now, but I got to do what I got to do. It's first and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. What do we got? Notre Dame. Oh, the coverage is too good. One man in the backfield, and he slides forward. He picks up a good seven yards. QB rush. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm more in, I played more like Gran Turismo 3. And then I've been more into the kart racers, you know, the Mario Kart 64. I have played the Sonic one on the Wii U, it was pretty good. Two tight ends here. Come on, get out there. Number 51 with a takedown at the three yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. 
Just keep pounding it. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Found the holes. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Cheerleaders happy about it. A big throw to number 21. Got it started off right. Crest Team Racing. I think I had that one but gave it away. Oh, what's up, uh, Odoms? I was asked that just a few moments ago. I haven't played it yet. I know a lot of people are just not happy with it at all, but I haven't played it. I don't plan on playing it. There's just uh, there's just not a lot of reason with all the older games that I have, great football games. There's just not a lot of reason for me to keep moving forward. I said earlier, like people play buy the games and play it for specific reasons. Like they'll they'll play uh, online season with their friends. Some people, I guess, like the ultimate team stuff, like collecting virtual cards. But I'm just into playing the game X's and O's, and that's what uh, you get with NCAA football and Madden in this era. Also, the ESPN 2K games. Bump and jump. I've played that before in the arcades. Super Monaco GP. Yeah, some of those games are good. Oh, I played a lot of Jet Moto on the PlayStation 1. Oh, that was bad defense. That one's just too hot to handle. Yeah, the quarterback might want to think about taking a little bit off his passes in those Split second. Burnout I've played. That's a lot of fun. Also, like Cruising USA on the 64 and Cruising World. But yeah, Burnout was good. Ridge Racer 64, played it, but not much of it. I think it was outclassed by what I was just talking about, Cruising USA. <laughs> that dude could have baked a cake. Yeah, that's. I don't know what was going on with that defense. The, the defenders should have got there, too. Blitz the league, uh, I don't see that coming back. The street series, possibly. I mean, EA has NFL license. They could potentially do it. Backbreaker have limited experience with. Maybe played it one time. If that. NCAA series has crazy glitches in 06. You can go no back and the snap ball to your wide receivers. Number seven, options out. He's to the 50. Number 40 brings him down at the 43. Nice running on the option there. Outrun 2SP on Xbox. Haven't played those. Yeah, I mean, you see the glitch videos. I think, I think any video game is gonna have glitches. I've seen some bad ones before. I have to admit, but uh, I think people are just fed up with EA and the NFL. They're just gonna attack them. Like if they were happy with the game, they probably would just be like, "Oh, it was, it was a glitch. It's funny, whatever." But if you're not happy with the game, then it's just gonna give you a reason to be like, "Hey, NFL, stop, uh, stop giving EA the license." 
Look, this sucks. <laughs> they ring you up on the next day after playing backbreaker. Oh, what the heck. He was open. I guess I hit circle too, like, soft. Oh, man, 42-yard line. I hate to punt it here. I'll go for the coffin corner. I got the lead. It's fourth down. Nine yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. <laughs> World of Warcraft being destroyed. None of the Madden players cared. I think those are two different video game worlds. Bounce back in. No, that's not going to do it. And it goes into the end zone. Down for a touchback. Sean Dunstan throw. Oh, shortstop for the Cubs. When I back when I knew baseball players in the nineties. And some of the early two thousands. What's up, Sean? Number three, alone in the backfield. Number eighteen, back to pass. Ooh. Misplayed a little bit by the defender. Looked like he could have had a pick. Oh, they're going in the hurry up. Man, these are risky throws. I don't know. Video game players are just too demanding these days, too. I would, <laughs> I would hate to try to satisfy people on a triple a title the quarterback made the right decision but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch like you know I talked about the maximum Doug Flutie's maximum football series and you know it, it obviously has its flaws but you know like it's a small development team doing it out of passion big pick it's their passion to make the game better. They listen to the community. They talk to them. Like, you can forgive them for that, but it's like the AAA games where EA pays for a monopoly. It's just like people just can't can't take it when it sucks. What's up, Antonio? Oof, that just did not work at all. Let me tell you something. That toss play had no chance whatsoever. Defense was all over it. <sighs> Seven yard loss. The Boilermaker. Use a four man front here. Number seven. Back to throw. Look. He lets it go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is doing it. He wasn't even playing in the last game. That was a horrible throw. What's up, Kayvon? Your roommate was a Cleveland Browns fan. Those are tough times. It's almost as bad as being a Bears fan, except the Bears will give you a good season or two every ten years. Come on, you got that. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Drinking that slap shot stream coming tomorrow. Okay. Uh if I turned it off? No. I have not turned off the commentary. Notre Dame comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drops back to pass. He's scrambling. Ugh. And they get the sack. They got heavy pressure on him that time. Boy, you better believe it. The penetration and right got there and smack dab in the middle of the field. Yeah, that pocket just collapsed which right would be good for a field goal. <laughs> That's something you have to think about when you're playing a college game with those wide hash marks. So... 
Try to hit a post in the middle. Third and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 27. Yeah, Jets fan, that's that's pretty bad too. Oh no, I did not need a delay a game. Here's a third and long situation. Ball on the 32 yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Let's it Oh, huge throw. That one I just gunned. They had an out. Oh, here we go. We got a little R1 out. Played Madden 20 for a month last fall. All online, head-to-head. -head, but I don't mind people using unrealistic tactics. I got to stop reading the chat. Or just... That was just a long one. Whatever. <laughs> Yager returned to the NHL. With four wide receivers. Number seven drops the throw. Looking. Oh, I saw him get pancaked. Decides to slide. Notre Dame tearing it up on the on the rush. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Number twenty-two on the game. Yeah, if you if you play a simulation football or a simulation sports game against my uncle jimmy and you do anything that's like slightly unrealistic he hates it but hey it's a video game you got to take advantage of how the game was made i got the touchdown i know all i needed was that three Things are looking good for the Irish in this one. Number 25 fields it in the end zone. Yeah, I mean, really, I don't see the point. Like, I never thought that an exclusive license would last this long and then get an extended contract after 15 years it's just crazy like i don't think people would be going this crazy if the nfl just let other companies make nfl games Oof, that was huge of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the NHL 06 or 07. Was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way I have to see if I have those games. Drop back to pass. He faked the spike. He's going to try and throw it. Oh, this is too easy for them. With a takedown at the 24. And Herbie, that was a good looking throw. Yeah, and what impresses me is the composure of this young quarterback. He made a great read, saw the open receiver, and delivered an almost. It is dumb. Strike. I mean, that's looking they're fun. shooting themselves in the foot. I guess it, the good thing is at least they gave uh, 2K the right to make an arcade style game, which a lot of people are gonna flock to that, even if they don't like arcade games. My uncle Jimmy said that I was just talking about. He's he's gonna play. He hates arcade games, but he's so fed up with the license that he's going to give that game a shot. Oh yeah. The NFL game day with the production of MLB The Show that would be something. You gotta you gotta put that same great game day music in too. Brings him down at the eight. They pick up solid yardage there. This is happening nice too fast. Catch there. The wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense, and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup. Spiked it. Oh, what defense? Oh. I'll just stick four three here. Pinch it. Four three defense. 
Because without competition, then that you, you get attacked for the game just getting stale. Because you don't have to make changes because if people want to play your an NFL game with updated rosters, then that's what you got. But I think people need to go back and explore the games that they like to play. Doesn't hurt my feelings too much if the new Madden sucks. And they couldn't hook up on that one. Wasn't planning on getting it anyways. They're going five wide here. Full zone, I guess. Yeah, EA dropped their NBA game, hockey. I know, they're all getting stale. MLB's only the show. Oh, he should have caught that. They have to... Put a lot of resources into making these games. No. Get the ball here at the eight. But that's the gaping hole in all this is the sports arcade games the with the licenses because those were the ones that really kept things fun throughout the the 90s and early 2000s. Once those started dropping off, things got really boring in a uh, sports video game world. They're using timeout. 61 yards rushing for the QB. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, Adam's coming up with the big top five. Kurt Warner's hidden football game, so I got to read that in a second. Number six brings him down at the 17 yard line. And that's not going to be enough to move the chain. Nope. And here's why. Good defensive awareness. They did a timeout. Won't run one more play. And reacting to the ball carrier. Why not? Kurt Warner's Arena Football Unleashed. NCAA Football 2K2. Mutant Football League. Sega Genesis. NCAA Football 04. NFL Fever 04. That's a good list. Yeah, Kurt Warner's Arena Football is like Blitz. Just smaller stadium, and you don't really know any of the players. Newton Football League is a classic on the Genesis. Obviously, the NCAA football games. I noticed you didn't include this one. And, yeah, NFL Fever is underrated, too. Maybe the only competitive games are FIFA. Pro Evolution, yeah, that's true. Pro Evolution is the one uh, Konami sports title that hung around. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Wireframe. At the end of the day, you knew what you were getting yourself into with EA and the NFL, and you still bought it. Yeah. Man, live, I could see that coming back. Rising prices, lower quality, especially if people still buy every year. Yep, nothing changes. And it's off the same engine, so the fact that they'll take away features, it just makes no sense. Like, how are you taking away features? You're just, you know, making the graphics look a little bit better, maybe more detailed, but the game still plays basically the same, and you're taking away game features. I did hear that there's like a arcade type mode in this year's Madden though which I think that's a move in the right direction even though those modes from what I've seen like in the NHL series they look kind of boring but gives you a little bit something different to do and 
Yeah, that was that was a good effort. Got some something going in the passing game. Put number twenty one in there, which I'll have to do now in the actual depth chart outside of the game so it stays that way. But yeah, it took care of Purdue. Needed that one. Don't want to start 0-2. It's called the yard. Yeah, they need to do more of that. Like, I always say, because they had a good idea one year at EA. They, when they were changing NBA Live to NBA Elite, they were going to include the NBA Jam arcade, because it came out that year, with the game. I think they should be doing that every year. They should keep the the NBA Jam EA game, update the roster, and then come out with live and package it into one. It would be that would compete with with 2K cuz I I think 2K's you know what is it called? Street Park, the park when you play in the park. It's fun to play with your friends, but it's still it's still simulation type uh, arcade style. Whereas if you had arcade NBA Jam with simulation style one package game, that would give it a run for, for its money. Yeah, the EA NBA Jam was very good. I, I agree. It didn't live up to all my expectations, but I played a lot of the On Fire edition with my brother. We'd play online, and uh, the online like record keeping was kind of finicky, which kind of sucked because I really like keeping stats and records. But uh, it was still fun to just play two on two versus other people online. But I don't know why they don't do that because they. They updated that roster, especially on the smartphones for NBA Jam. They they updated it quite a few times. It was the last one they updated. They might have did it like uh, for a few, like three or four years. Okay, so this is saving the season. It's just missed opportunities. I don't know who's making decisions with these companies. It seems so easy to do. Just include NBA Jam the way it was. Update the player faces. And there you go. And then improve on the simulation aspect of the game. Yeah, I, I heard that game is rare, which is weird, NCAA, because, but the thing is, you could get it on PS2 or Xbox for probably a buck or two, so there's no reason to get it unless you're a co collector. Well, he's, he's talking about NCAA College Basketball 2K3. But they're don't like they're not even making good decisions. I mean, I know it's about the microtransaction, the ultimate team thing. I could see how you could get into it, but I'm really not into virtual cards. Like I used to collect, uh, you know, basketball, baseball cards, Pokemon cards. I think that's cool, but <laughs> virtual ones. I don't know. I can't get into it. I, I like I like to do physical I like physical products in front of me, but that's you know they're trying to string along this generation that pays for virtual things, which is nuts to me. But that's the way they do it. Sega started pulling the GameCube version off the store shelves. Yeah, it's just like a shortage type thing. or So not many of them got out. 
Oh, 2K21 came out last night. I didn't know that. Went to a card shop a few weeks ago and I was shocked. Real cards are super expensive, but real or virtual, they can be addictive. I know. I <laughs> I could see how they could be addictive because I, I know how it is with the physical cards. And uh, it's a money maker for sure. But to me, it's like I just, when it's video game form, it's just, if I want players on other teams, I should just have the feature to trade them to wherever I want or do a fantasy draft. So that's how I view it. But, you know, they include game modes where you're playing ultimate team versus ultimate team. I'm not even sure exactly how it works because I haven't played much of it. I remember the Madden cards, though, even on PS2, where you can, like, do certain power-ups in the game, basically. So I won that, uh, that trophy off Purdue, too. Don't forget about that. That's a big accomplishment. There's... I'm... I don't even remember what it's called. The Shallow Bay Trophy. Uh, I wonder who's next. Won that game on satellite television. To me, I feel like when it comes to football games, they want Madden to be the only one because it's how the system works. Smoke wants to see another game. YouTube keeps pulling Shell Bay's videos. Well, there's this thing going on with YouTube right now where there's community guidelines that uh, if you sp speak any dissent message message that strikes uh truths that they don't want to be known then their video gets deleted that's just what's going on right now oh yeah a lot of the channels that i follow they are getting their videos taken down like crazy right now they they don't want anyone exposing covid19 for what it is and doesn't follow any official narrative like they just <laughs> trying to bottle this one up oh wow Michigan on satellite national broadcast oh so I was saying that the it was satellite because it's a picture of a satellite but no that means it's a national broadcast and the TV is a regional broadcast Yeah, um, this whole, <laughs> whole thing, it's, it's, it's rough to watch. It's, uh, you know, it's a lot of propaganda going on. I could hardly believe what I'm seeing, but, you know, if, if people want to believe celebrities and athletes and just do what they s tell them to do, then... Just how it's going right now. Rutgers actually won a game. Like people given 14 days to live are counted if they get it on their last day. Yeah, like the people, people in hospice. I saw that lady in Illinois. I know who you're talking about. Yes, I did watch it. Eli, I mean the Edward Snowden thing is is quite old. I'm surprised that guy's talking about that now. Like he's they put him out there to expose what a lot of people already knew, 
I don't know. He he might be a uh, controlled opposition to Edward Snowden, but he <laughs> they they at least put him out there to tell the people what uh we already knew that they were spying through cell phones, computers, everything. All right, so you guys want to see Notre Dame versus Michigan? Car accidents. Yeah, I had that happen. My friend uh, Toto actually said he had a. F He's on my softball team. He said his friend died in a car accident like a few months ago, and they counted as a COVID death. It's crazy. I feel like, you know, wherever you, whatever you feel about it, like too many people <laughs> know that it's not what they say it is. Let's just put it that way. Like, I just, <laughs> I'll just go to the, I've been going to the local bars around here because a few of them don't really care about any of the regulations too much. So that's where I go. And, uh, like, just random old guys at the bar will have, like, like, they know what's going on, too. Like, yeah, this is some bullshit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do it. <laughs> Tupac was a COVID death. Oh, man. What is hologram? And I did good. Like earlier, I didn't do good, like not talking about politics. And I did great that first game, but it's in between. You kind of got to talk about it right now because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very medical tyranny-ish. We'll see how far it goes. If it's truly just a pandemic and it's temporary, then it should all go away once they declare it over, but... I don't think that's what it, the plan is, but we'll see. They they don't care. They're like, ah, we got the license. What do you guys want to do about it? Michigan has an advantage in this one, and that's their passing game. I look for them to get good protections, throw the football. Yeah, most of these viruses are are man-made for sure. I mean, the, the official story is coming from China. But uh, when you really zoom out, they give us the idea of all these countries and borders and us fighting against each other and really it's all the people versus the small minority that is making the uh decisions to try to control the people like this like i said i'm not happy about it other people believe they're doing the right thing and that it will go away if that's true um I'll be in a much better mood. I don't think it is, though, but we'll see. A lot of people that I talk to, they think in the U.S. at least that a lot of this will go away once the election happens, which I don't, I don't think that. But I did see some videos like two weeks ago. Actually, my brother-in-law sent me something that believe it or not cnn reporting that in wuhan china they were ha they had like a big pool party and and there were no yeah there was no none of the social distancing they're talking about there's no masks and uh yeah they're just having a massive pool party because they're saying that they haven't reported a covid 
case since May. So it does give you hope, but then, like, I don't know what's true. Like, they're just giving little headlines. Even NBC was one of the, the videos saying that they had some kind of tracking app to track their movement. I don't know. <laughs> Bilderbergs. Yeah, no, I haven't I haven't made my way to a Bilderberg meeting yet, but I've been I've been watching the videos of people who do. I remember when Alex Jones used to go. He gives it to the right, and it's knocked away. Just the go nuts. Eli says, are the least Republican. N no. No. At this point in my thinking, the, uh, the left-right paradigm is political theater in this country. They already know who's going to win the election. I mean, if you just look back, I talked about this before. Uh, Al Gore, George W. Bush, Gore won the popular vote. George, but the Electoral College decided, based off of the numeric state system, that uh, Bush gets in. Same thing happened with Trump and Hillary. Hillary won the popular vote. And... Trump won electoral college, but that's just that's just what they show you. I mean, it's really deeper than that. Once you go into the secret societies and how they're interwoven, no, I don't think anyone truly knows who is the one calling the shots. But when you see everything coordinated like this worldwide, um, you know you got to look at the. The main suspects, at least the organizations like the WHO, the UN, like, and who's behind those organizations. It's a pyramid, you know. I <laughs> preach. It's definitely a pyramid. Uh, and, and, and what I say, like, with... What I'll say with all this is it's it's come to the time now where you just... You need to do. Oh yes, that worked out perfect. He's at midfield to the 40, inside the 30, brought down at the 26. You need to do what's best for yourself. Like you can't wait on any politician in any country to make the changes for you. Uh, governments showed itself as a leech. Uh, for a long time, they've disguised themselves as doing good for the people. And they, oh no, they have in certain areas in the past, but it's just a facade. Uh, if you don't consent or you don't want to do anything they say or you don't agree with the con men they put forward on a daily basis, then don't listen to them. They only have power over you if you give it to them, but you... You have the power. That's the thing. You always have the power. You just got to have the strength to confront any situation how you like it to turn out. <laughs> I'm queuing on. No, you know what? I, I have not known too much about that until recently because it kept popping up. It's like a newer like conspiracy movement where no one knows who's running it but the thing that i totally disagree about it is that trump's the savior like he's the president right now and the country's in the worst shape it's ever been in an interesting development though in all this is that uh since trump's pushing this operation warp speed with the the kill gates vaccine that uh like even the the people on the left don't want to take it now. The Democrats, because Trump's pushing it, like, before he gets out of presidency. So they're like, I don't know if I want to take this. I don't trust Trump. So it's like, the people... <laughs> I don't know who wants to take this thing now. Like, oh, let someone else be the guinea pig. I don't know about this. It's coming out too fast. I'll wait and see what happens to them. Yeah, I saw the people in Australia. Let's, 
It looks rough over there, it's at least certain parts. But the thing is, uh, a couple weeks ago, my sister's boyfriend was showing me uh, the AFL games, Australian football. And they had fans in the stadium. They weren't wearing masks or anything. They were just drinking beers and stuff. So, you know, from what I know, like, Australia right now has been put into four quadrants. quadrants uh, for, like, their, you know, their all this quarantine stuff. Like, the virus knows how long it lasts and how far it can go. And it knows imaginary borders. And it knows a time, and it has a tape measure. Like, come on. And all these people making your food are completely clean when you do a no-contact delivery. And I'm sure your DoorDash guy, an Uber Eats guy, has the cleanest car ever on that plastic bag he put it in. Like, let's stink. Please stink. Alex said, I'm proud to be American. At least I know I'm free. As I kick more ass in retro games and followers chat with me. And and I have felt that way my whole life. Like, it, it, it's that I have been free. But now they're, they're threatening your physical freedom with this mask thing, this social distancing, telling people they can't meet up in large groups. This, this is what I have a major problem with. Just even putting these ideas into people's heads temporarily. Uh, the, the way I look at how our country is set up before, we, we actually had socialism already. Uh, but you had the option to be a capitalist as well. So there's certain groups that were taken care of by social programs. And if you wanted to go make as much money as you could within the confines of the Federal Reserve notes or other means of monetary value, then you could do that. If you didn't want to do anything, uh, there's social programs for that too. It's first and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Four man front by the defense. It's just right. So let's read some of the comments. Eli says the conservatives praise and defend the US government. Yeah, the, the US government is is selling us out both sides second and seven this is the sixth play of this drive the wolverine line up with two tight ends Number 20 brings dozens of anti-lockdown protesters means time to kick in the door and arrest the woman who's yeah i saw i saw that video i actually didn't see it but I've seen multiple people report on it. There's only so many of these I could take, you know? Like, it's all negativity. I know what's going on there. I see what their political leaders and police officers are saying. And it's insane compared to here. At least you got some good sheriffs in the U.S. that are saying, like, I'm not enforcing any of this. Like, this is not... This is not what I swore oath to the Constitution, and this isn't what we're talking about. All right, Game Escape, see you later. Thanks thanks for tuning in. Sorry it got so political if you don't want to hear all this, but uh, it's uh, like the two things I'm into. Uh, well, I guess you'd say politics, but really quickly it turns into researching conspiracies. <laughs> Because the government's just, they just got so many going. Back to pass. Under heavy pressure. Gives a little pump fake. Number 92 comes away with a sack. He just couldn't get away. Yeah, it's so negative. Held on to the football too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. But I tell you, you have to give the defense a lot of credit. That was I mean, the more I think about it, like, I really just would like to disconnect my mind from it. As long as this social distancing, mask thing goes away. Michigan. And they're not trying to put kids in masks and stuff, then I'll be okay. I could figure out it's time to a whole one hander. Yeah, that 
was big, and I'll tell you what, that tight end can really move. But for for the people that are following the rules, I understand why you're doing it. But at the same time, if this is a propaganda campaign that doesn't end at what point will you will you be willing to admit that yeah I should have stood up because a lot of this didn't make sense second and four coming up here ball on the 45 Michigan comes out at four three number seven gives it up the middle number 43 so he's tackled for a loss by the linebacker yeah, it's, it's run by criminals. I mean, I feel very comfortable saying that. For a long time, people were afraid to speak out too, but there's so much coming out by everybody everywhere now that it's like there's no point to stay silent about it. He's knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Ask Lee Corso. Yeah, not so fast. You guys need to wear a mask. I did promote this out kick, right? Earlier today in the morning when I played the first Notre Dame game. And what's his name? Whitlock? Like, he had a headline that said Cowardness 2020 or something. That's the real issue. And then within the first minute and 30 minutes, or, or minute and 30 seconds, he's he's talking about, don't worry, I wear my mask. It's like, okay. Like, I don't know, this might not be the headline for you, buddy. He carries the ball for three, maybe four yards. Second and six, ball on the 20-yard line. Yeah, like I said, uh, the whole Snowden thing, I think he he is a controlled opposition. You gotta look out for that, Cointel Pro. I don't dislike the guy or anything, but I don't trust him as any type of leader of a movement. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Wolverine put four men up front. Number seven steps back to pass. Like let me. Give you a few other examples. The Google Homes, the Alexas. They're just basically giving these things away for free. They're spy devices in people's houses. These ring doorbells where... I'm going to have to kick a field goal. These ring doorbells that have built-in cameras. They're, they're trying to build basically the surveillance society that Orwell was talking about in 1984 could be good it's up. yes it I think there are certain games where you can ask Corso every play Notre Dame to kick. the government no does not care about the people I mean they're they're putting everyone through a soft torture right now is the way I like to put it. But some like the the thing they won't talk about is everyone's mental health issues and the people who've committed suicide. Like they're not gonna report on that. Cause they know that's darker than, you know, people getting a severe cold for a week or two. But the, the other issue that I see coming up, a lot of people just test positive with either no symptoms or they got tested because they had cold symptoms and they're, they're completely fine now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Don't trust anybody yet. It would, like, I thought about, because where I work I could get paid tuition I thought about going into political science but I'm like I'm just probably going to disagree with everything the fighting Irish come out in the 34 defense pumps once going deep Oof, nice throw I knew that was trouble and they finally make the stop at the 26 
What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play action pass. The defense here bid on the fake just enough, allowing the, the Mrs. Kids, yeah. Target. The result is a big gainer. Yeah, I don't know. I, they they're risky now, like everyone just losing trust, and then it will it's only gonna get worse because as time goes on, and there's someone like myself who's skeptical. The moment people start changing their behaviors, and then there's people who figure out, you know, a few months later, and then everyone keeps talking about all these things. Some will have cognitive dissonance and their ego will not allow them to admit that they were they were wrong in some areas but I think genuinely a lot of people just want to do what's right for everybody Michigan driving up free safety they'd get toasted on that one And that's what you should do, Eli. Trust your own instincts because you're born with them. You know, us humans are unique, unique species here. These uh, these wild animals you see out here, they don't have any of this uh, pressure from other other animals to do all these crazy things like taking pills and vaccines and surgeries like they're just out there winging it Michigan, we could do it too if we we're brave enough Oof, one hander <laughs> small bump of cocaine on the swabs <laughs> right got to give them a little motivation Yeah, that that is crazy, Sean. The only saving grace for me right now is as I haven't been asked to go back and been working from home, but I would be we'd be button heads, me and the employer. Let's just say that. So yeah, it's like so when you know that they're making you do this. You, oh no, what's going on? It's just behavioral change. Just, and you know, like if you're a parent, a lot of old school parents have used fear to behaviorally change their kids. So is it, the government use it, is it uses it on adults in the same way. Number sixteen with three wide receivers. <laughs> See the 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 thing that differs me from Alex Jones is I'm actually composed. And he's not. Number 81 brings him down at the 23 yard line. And they'll go with a no huddle. Which uh, gives people that uh, question and look into truth and critical think a bad name. He wants it all going long. And that one's fallen incomplete. And the wideout is kicking himself after that. <laughs> no, I, I haven't sold any of that. I'm no survivalist stuff. If you want to go to your local grocery store and stock up on some oatmeal and pasta, go ahead, but I'm not going to be selling it. Wow, this, this game changed in a hurry. Yeah, Alex Jones. Now, Alex Jones is paid by the Turner Network. Just like uh, old WCW, TNT. Um, so he is controlled opposition. And I watched him for a long time. And he was more composed at one point. And his role was to get everybody that was questioning into his realm of Infowars and get everyone associated with him 
And then when it was his time to act a fool, he did just that. And now all these people that are questioning, you know, some of the things the government was doing and certain truths about reality were associated with him as the biggest mouthpiece of the movement. At this point, most people in this questioning movement are, come on, go. He's to the 40, he's to the 50, to the 40. He's hit and got away. Almost in field goal range. Most people in the questioning movement know this. And when you start exploring these things, nothing's off the table. You learn something new every day. I make a big catch. Oh, big time scores in this one. Yeah, well, I mean, Alex Jones has been on The View. He's been on Pierce Morgan's show. Like, the guys that end up on TV are part of this reality program that we're part of. Like, you don't just, you don't talk about the things that Alex Jones talks about and then get invited on The View. Same thing with Jesse Ventura. He had his conspiracy theory TV show. It's the same thing. You can watch the Russian Today News and his son Tyrell Ventura is on there and their show's watching the Hawks and you can tell that like they're just they're sellouts, those guys. And at one time, you know, I thought Jesse Ventura was a tough guy caring about truth, but no, it's just a this is steer you in the wrong direction a little bit. But they're, they're running out of people to put forth at this point. The people that may be controlled opposition at this point, they're, they're exploring so much truth and that it's like at, it's, it's like if Alex Jones was like 80% truth, now it's like 95% where they're just steering you a little bit in the wrong direction. Yeah, gatekeepers. Oh, yeah, Joe Rogan. He just, that's a mainstream podcast. That's what people should realize by this point. I did listen to that as well with Joe Rogan. Um, when he used to talk to his friend Jamie and have other guests on, that's when it was good. Where it wasn't that obvious, but then he started having like the Jay Leno's and the Mick West, Mr. Debunk, and Neil deGrasse. Like, oh my goodness. This, the Joe Rogan show is a mainstream. He just had Miley Cyrus on. I mean, come on. Joe Rogan, yeah, they, they try to make him out to be something like that. Number seven on the option. Number 24 with a takedown at the 34 yard line. I gotta go for it. Two yards. Short of the first down. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, I've been. I am not a fan of Joe Rogan at all. Fourth down and two yards to go. Ball on the 34 yard He's line. misleading Notre people. Day lines up in a goal line set. At an alarming rate. I get people like that. Number his. 90. Oh, man. They like his UFC breakdowns and stuff because he's the announcer, but he does not question everything. He steers people in the wrong direction, and he invites on everyone who's part of this reality program, and they're all just steering you in the wrong direction. And then they, they try to play it off like, oh, Joe Rogan, he's really he's really out there fighting for us. And they deleted the podcast of 
him with Alex Jones and blah, blah, blah. It's like... The one guy I find interesting, or I did at least, for a while, is Eddie Bravo. But he gets a little wacky too. Because then he talks he talks himself down. Like he'll reveal, he'll take a different viewpoint. And he'll say a lot of things that I agree with, but then it'll be like, well, I don't know anything. So I'm just, I'm basically, I'm just an idiot. I don't know anything. It's first and ten, ball on the 25-yard line. Yeah, yeah you definitely, you want to be careful about the vaccines. I mean, willingly letting uh, organizations with government approval, shooting unknown substances into your body. You should think about that. MRC-5 is maybe uh, fetal cells. And there's a lot of other ingredients. Beef heart serum. Uh, what else you got? African monkey cells. The fighting Irish. Come out in a 34 defense. Number 16, back to throw. Steps up, guns it across the middle. Michigan's hot on offense. Joe Biden's evil. Yeah, I agree with that. I also think Trump is evil too. It's always the lesser of two evils. I do think Trump is the lesser of two evils, but I think they're both evil. And let me tell you, the key to that play was right there in the defensive line. They tied this offensive line up and allowed their linebackers to come up and make a big play. Lee, I agree with you. We always talk about the linebackers and safety. Credit the big guys up front for that play. And it's incomplete. Oh, I wish I wish you were on the stream to uh to say that yourself. I read that once in an article that testicular fortitude and psilocybin goes a long way towards the legitimacy of the earth being fat. Jamie looked that up real quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's always just says something crazy and then asks the dude that runs the show to to look this up. The Wolverine. Line up in a well, because the the politics are are rigged. Like, in 2012, it wouldn't have been Mitt Romney if it, if it was really what people wanted. It would have been Ron Paul. This, the last two years, or the last two elections on the Democratic side, if it was what people actually wanted, it would be Bernie Sanders. You see the the most support for him around, like bumper stickers, signs, and all this stuff. But you don't get those guys because they play their role and then they're out. And he got it. Jimmy Carter, yeah, get him in there another four year term. Michigan lines up for the kickoff. You just decent kick looks to be returnable. Once you start realizing that it's all there, all theater, you start thinking about it like it's the WWF. Like the WWF went out of its way to make people believe that it was real. Like they would, the million dollar man, like if he's in public, he played his character and he had, Vince McMahon gave him money so he could just blow it and... You know, act like he's actually a million dollar man. And I don't know when people officially, the overall consensus is that wrestling is fake. But eventually people just accepted that it was and they watch it still for entertainment. You know, the guys, they're still athletes and they risk their body without a doubt. But they're running a show. And then one day I will get into professional sports and what I think about them at this point. Because uh yeah, they're they're right around uh 
that's those same lines. Number 90 brings him down at the 32 yard line. He holds on to it and gets maybe two yards. Third and four, ball on their own 32. 2000, all the elections are rigged. They've, and so we've reached they've the only the let one, with one quarter to go. We're all tied up. Third party candidate debate with they've the Republican and Democrats, and that was. The and final I don't want to say throughout all the the years, but like in recent history, maybe the last thirty years, and that was ninety two with Ross Perot. It's third down and four to go. Ball on the thirty two yard line. Besides that, they just, the they don't even, no one else gets a chance to speak. Oh, no. It looks like I'm throwing now. Seventeen, seventeen. Third and nine, ball on the 27. Carter's mate's going to be Charles Oakley. <laughs> Might as well have a big tough guy in there. Oh no. Didn't know what to do. Oh, I got lucky. Brian Tui. No, I am not familiar with who that is. What's up, Funky Flights? Yeah, I have 04 as well. I think I have threw up 06, this one to 06. See, the whole, the whole Trump fake news thing, he is calling out a lot of fake news. That is true, but what he doesn't tell you is I'm fake too. <laughs> I'm part of the fake news. Oh, great. There's nothing. There's nothing left to be seen that's not part of the reality control program that's on TV. The Fighting Irish. Oh, ESPN has been bad for a long time. I mean, it started just with them focusing on drama. Then it made its way to politics a little bit, and now it's just full blown. Awful. I don't even know what to say about it. Um, but, you know, it's owned by Disney, and they have their role to play in this, and they're playing it. It's my, me and my friend Chris were talking about this, you know, a few weeks ago. Like, ESPN used to be, used to be awesome. You just put it on. They would only talk about the sports, show sports highlights, and that's it. Like, they didn't even talk about drama or nothing. Besides for like when there was a big thing like steroids and baseball or something like that. Otherwise, it was just all sports all the time. Second and ten. This is the seventh play of this drive. Yeah, everyone is fake. Think about how, a, you know, one of your family members or your friends talks to you or how I'm talking to you. And then think about how... Things are presented to you on the TV, like a newscaster or, you know, one of these reality shows. It's so fake. It's first and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. There was a, a show that used to be on called Blind Date, and you know they basically. They sent one person on a date with like four people, I want to say. And it was both ways, like guys and girls. And uh, I watched one late at night once. And the next day I went with my friend Corey to a Bulls game. And I was like, hey, this guy was on blind date last night. I'm like, I swear, this is the guy. Same name and everything. So then... So then Corey went up to him and asked him, like, hey, are you on the show, Blind Date? He's like, yeah, yeah. And then he started telling us all about it. He's like, oh, he's like, that's all fake. He's like, yeah, I made it to, like, the the third round. But, you know, everything there is acting. And they play it off like it's a real show. 
But every literally everything you see is like that. Number twenty two. Sports debate shows. I have. Like you talking like Skip and Shannon and Ooh, 30 yard line. Should go for the field goal. It's kind of deep. It looks like they're gonna try for the long I have watched the sports debate shows. Get get up. Oh come on, it had the distance and went there was no wind. Oh boy, and believe me, nobody feels worse than that kicker right now. The sports debate shows are just terrible. Like, you know, they just got hung up on the greatest of all time for a few years, like just constantly talking about it. Number 16, step back to pass. Let's it go. I mean, I used to watch some of that stuff, like the pregame show of Fox when they had Jimmy Kimmel doing skits. Those were pretty funny back then. But, uh, like, it just, they took the fun out of it. It's, it's all about drama and politics. Good awareness defensively that time by the linebacker. Not only that, but as you Even saw, the way they presented it, the sports before. The ball. It would just strictly talk about player talent and statistics and commentate on the game, and that's it. And then watching ESPN broad, broadcast with Jeff Van Gundy, he'll say whatever he wants. He's going to come out. It looks like he was hurt on that last play. Communications degree. Voice acting. I could see that, but honestly, if you, you should just hone your craft on your own. At this point, there's so much information on the internet. And there, there's tools to, you know, give you opportunity. That's the other thing. Now it's fourth down and two yards to go. Ball right around midfield. Save a lot of money. Twenty-two is a beast. Bubba Smith and Police Academy three when he played Voodoo Priest. I haven't seen that one. They'll take over at the thirty-six. Look at my live performances. <laughs> yeah, I mean Alex. He's he's got an awesome impersonation voice for some of these wrestlers. But sports broadcasting is good, but um, you know, just think of ideas of what you would do with it right now. Number 92 brings him down at the 30 Like I know a, a guy that plays Tecmo uh, out of Cincinnati that runs tournaments. He's he kind of started his own sports broadcasting companies company and they cover the local high school games. Men and women. You know, and that's something that not everywhere is doing, so it's a good idea. And then the schools start craving it because they're getting coverage that they weren't getting before. <laughs> Vinny Mac. I'll give you your five. Coming up, ball on the 38-yard line. The Wolverine. Come out this is a good game. 
I've been talking the whole time, but. Number seven, drops back to pass. He's on the oh, I thought that guy was going to go the with the running back. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. The Wolverines call for a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Two yards. I like this. I'll give myself options. I'm going to try to hit the out if it's open. If not, I'm going to run with the quarterback. Saw no one on him. Just had to rifle it before he went out of bounds because he's on the short side. Montreal screw job. That's a interesting one. Oh, hit it. One foot. Yes, they call it in. When the two moons are high and the livestock is ready, <laughs> Fire and Irish will put this plane into a nosedive. Hulk Hogan. It's in there. Touchdown, Big touchdown. He really his way into the end zone there. Great. I don't know. With these wrestlers' egos, the Montreal screw job could be like sometimes I think things happen where because it was actually a, a real thing that they just have taken it and run with it. I don't know. But if not, they did an excellent job marketing it all these years. Because people that are into wrestling are definitely into that story. Fighting Irish. Surprised I played this well with all the talk I've been spewing. Seven out of ten. <laughs> yeah, you to understand an Ultimate Warrior promo, you have to be on some type of drug that I've never taken before. Most people haven't. Back to pass. Looks under pressure. Going deep. Oh, pick it. End the game. And the safety got a hand on it that time. Yeah, I I would guess in the winter time we'll probably do more online like we were before, Alex. Get your voice acting back in. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the twenty. The Wolverines. Have five receivers on this play. I do not have the right defense for this. Notre Dame takes a timeout. I want to get burned. Cover two man's good for this situation. Two safeties back. ICO Pro. The Fighting Irish bring in their dime package. He drops back. Under heavy pressure. And he yeah, when you know when 9/11 happened, the twin towers co going down, like people didn't talk about that. The conspiracy surrounding it, at least people I know, for years after it. What's happening now is people are talking about it as it's happening, and the truth is being trying to be silenced all over the world, and I just. The wheels are coming, coming off this whole thing, I think. I mean, it might look bleak, but either way, we're going to look back at this year as a, as a turning point in our reality. When this defense blitzes like they do here, that leaves them in some one-on-one -on -one situations. They took advantage of it. Right uh, it depends. Like, I know part of the Big Ten, well, I don't know for sure being shut down, but the Michigan governor is really locked down. 
And I think that's what the Big Ten commissioner wants too. But there's a lot of pressure being put on because if you just follow the numbers that they're given, oh wow, you're going to have a shot to tie it. Michigan takes a timeout, and that was their third. Your aunt almost died on 9/11. Yeah, I mean there was definitely some like uh, some stuff going down, but how it was done, that's was planned for a long time. Notre Dame comes out defensively. Didn't just happen randomly that day. He drops back. He steps up. He's looking deep down the line. Oh, and that's the ball game. Well, that's why I started the season, honestly. I was surprised to learn that Notre Dame was going to have some fans and be playing in the ACC. So it's at least something I want to check out. Now, if it was up to me, they'd just let everybody in that wants to be in. But that's not what's going that's not what's going on right now. You know? You're an adult, you know the risk. If people know you're at the game and they don't want to be around you, then it is what it is. But I'm interested to see at least what the broadcast is like. Medical doctor and big COVID believer. Yeah, I mean, like, the companies are giving people all these surveys. You give them your most honest feedback, and they don't listen to anything you say. They're just like, oh, yeah, we're rolling forward with this. Yeah, the, I mean, it was it was a bad day for everyone. But the difference between what happened in 9-11 and what's happening now is people right now are so divided in this country, it's unreal. People actually were united in the U.S. after that. There wasn't this division between people. People are actually kinder to each other. They looked at the big picture of life, and they were, they were more thankful. Right now, you have so many people confused and on different, different you know, ends of this spectrum and in between and all over the place it's it's just it's not even fun to go go out to the store or do anything because people are just looking at each other crazy because everyone's on all different directions thanks jordan <laughs> harbaugh yeah that was bad i did i was actually i actually tuned in at that game live when it was happening, and I was like, wow, what a way to blow a game. So, yeah, that that's the big difference. And people are talking about this as it's happening as a conspiracy, whereas when 9-11 happened, there, there were still people for sure, but it's a small minority, whereas you can go to a bar right now, like, two blocks away and the guy sitting at the bar will tell you it's this is a fraud like that wasn't happening in uh when the twin towers went down and favorite ncaa football game i mean i spent the most time with this one uh so I would say this one's probably my favorite but if i explored them all i i might have a different opinion But sometimes EA makes these little tweaks to how the game looks visually. Not the actual players graphic wise, but the tax boxes and and everything. And I really liked the way it looked in like 2001 to 2003. They changed it up definitely in Madden 2004, which looked fine, but I, I still I liked the way uh, the graphics um, whatever words I'm looking for, the text boxes, how, how the fonts look and everything. Big, big win, two and one now. 
So I'm wondering, you know, may, maybe with all the stuff I talked about, I, this won't be within YouTube's community guidelines. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say 06 is the best one. That one has a unique look to it. Like they got the chalkboard out, the chalkboard text. That's pretty cool. It feels very college football-y. Yeah, that's true, Pat. There's a lot of submission going on. There's a lot of dissenters, but a lot of obedient submitters as well that don't agree with what's going on. So, yeah, that is a problem. They have to take the power back for themselves. Thanks, Antonio. I figure, you know, if I'm going to be playing these games every once in a while, I could put out some information. Whether you agree or disagree, make people think a little bit. There's nothing wrong with thinking. Smoke says 06. Hands down is the best. So I saved, I believe. Northern Illinois is 3-0. Let's look at the rankings real quick. Top 25. Don't think I'm cracking it yet. Michigan State's up there. I don't know where they have me ranked. Seven, looking good. Weekly awards. I'm not looking at that stuff right now. One of the first streams you watched on here was Miami beating the hell out of your Notre Dame. Yeah, I could see that happening. I should have played Miami. They're they're too powerful in this era. Like they had all the speed. I like the goal song. We're not going to take it. You know a lot of the goal songs, Eli. That is a cool thing to look into, though, to see what <laughs> what songs they play after a goal at the different stadiums. Could be a revenge game in the title game. Yeah, you never know. What's up, James Bond? I think you need to play this next game in space. Ooh, yeah, uh-huh. There you go. Trying to give you a run for your money on the Macho Man impersonation. I used to do a good one until uh, everyone heard you and then they kind of kicked me to the curb. Okay, so let me just save one more time just in case. It didn't save. Yeah, I used to be able to do Stone Cold all right, but that one that one hurts my throat worse than Macho Man. Notre Dame, big win against Michigan. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. It was fun getting another game in, getting two wins, talking with everyone. Thanks for hearing me out and uh, chatting with me tonight. Yeah, it's, it's cool here in Chicago as well. It was humid and hot last week. Terribly. It was probably the hottest week of the summer, but now it's, uh, it's all right. You're welcome, Alex. Much love. We'll see you, all you guys later. I appreciate it. And we'll be back next time with some more sports games. Maybe some Griffey. Maybe back to this. Maybe something else I feel compelled to do. Oh, you're in Chicago too, James Bond? I didn't know that. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool here. All right, see you everyone later.